guys welcome back to my channel it's Angela and while I'm uploading one video that seems to be taking forever I decided to go ahead and do another video and this is my weekly week ahead spread that I always do the energy obstacle energy obstacle and advice for the week and this is using my new teddy tarot I use it today um, for some readings for some other people and it was pretty crazy so I thought I would keep that flow going. I'm going to be using this deck all week. Um, I think it's super cute. And it's something uh, kind of like a balm I needed after the last week. Uh, <laughs> um, I just needed something not quite so serious. Um, so, but I have found that it is. Um, it It's cute, but it gets to the point. Um... So anyway, here, here we go. If you're just tuning in, I uh, most of the time I take a break for a few months. I do the energy obstacle and advice for the week. I look over the card, see where it's at, and then I do a, um, hold on. Okay, so um, yeah, I do the energy obstacle and advice. I go over it intuitively and then see what the book says. This one actually just comes with a little pamphlet, so that shouldn't be too bad. But I decided to pair it with my uh, Woodland Wardens this week. So we'll see. So this is technically day one of using this deck. So without further ado, let's go with the, let's see what the energy of the week is. And I have um, done a meditation and um, drew the cards, but I have not looked at them. So here we go with the Queen of Cups. And that's a your <laughs> way to start the week considering that we are two days away from being in um, cancer um, with the first deacon uh, which is water um, so I found that quite interesting that we are literally two days from that and that's how we're starting this week um, <laughs> the queen of wands or queen of wands queen of cups to me it's all about that stability that emotional stability um, and the waters are calm back there. So I feel like there's an emotional stability that is, or st emotional calmness over the week. If that, that, that seems to be suited better uh, and um, emotional calmness. And you have these, um, uh, lilies here and the lilies to me represent also a peace, calm, um, sensation. So I feel like that's, that's the energy of the week is this just calm, emotional calm yeah so for the uh obstacle of the week i have pulled the emperor and that seems like a quite a contrast between this nighttime beautiful blue calm energy to this there's a lot of red in here he's a darker bear there's some fiery yellow in the background there's mount jagged mountains um i feel like a, quite a contrast there um, but I feel like this is actually a person, um, someone in your life that's very, um, by the book, a very, um, justice is black or white. There's no in between kind of person, um, that could prevent you from the emotional calm or upheaval, uh, make an upheaval of that emotional calm. So either limit your time around this person um if you can't help it don't engage <laughs> because i feel like that's what's going to happen is they're going to engage you in something that's going to cause an emotional upheaval um if you if you're not aware uh if you're not alert to it interesting okay and for the advice for the week i have the world card um, I've been pulling that a lot. Oh, no, the, not the world. The Wheel of Fortune. Um, and again, this is telling me here, it could go either way. You could resist this person and maintain your emotional calm. Or you could give in to whatever their taunting is and have a horrible week. That's what I'm saying here. And this, so the Wheel of Fortune is just there to say, hey, you need to, 
there's a he's balancing himself out maybe kind of teeter-tottering um and that's how I feel with this these two is there's this um teeter-totter battle battle kind of deal who will win but it's ultimately up to you to decide how this week is going to go is it going to be this fiery raging crazy or it's not even crazy just this I feel very angry energy coming off this emperor so don't let this emperor person anger you just find your balance find your calm so let's see what the book says a very tiny print here the cups king and queen queen of, queen of cups beautiful fair dreamy woman as one who sees visions in a cup divinatory meaning good fair woman honest devoted who will do service to the querent loving intelligence and hence the gift of vision success happiness pleasure also wisdom and virtue reverse the accounts uh, vary the accounts vary good woman otherwise distinguished woman but not one not to be trusted perverse woman vice dishonor or depravity so I find it kind of interesting that it's talking about the accounts vary and that's kind of what I'm seeing with the will of fortune is there's it could go either way you just have to find that maintain that balance um interesting Stability, power, aid, protection, a great person, conviction, reason. And then reversed, benevolence, compassion, credit, also confusion to enemies, obstruction, and immaturity. And that could be part of what I was feeling there, too. There's a lack of maturity in this person. Um, and they could be, could very well hinder your emotional stabi stabi stability that you've cultivated because you're an adult because you have that maturity and they don't hmm. and then we have the will of fortune and both of these I notice there's two majors in here interesting it says destiny fortune success luck felicity reversed increase abundance superflu superfluity superfluity so that's uh what I'm showing this week. Mm, don't let your boss get you. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, if you resonate with this, let me know. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're loaded to any future videos. And y'all have a good night.